James Wan, sees wines are next from Australia. This is from Rat Bully. This is an appellation in Southern Australia. And so the wines I have are Chardonnay, a Cabernet, Shiraz, and a Shiraz wine. Stay tuned, I'll give you my thoughts and perspectives on these wines. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you've already done so. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And please give a like. So right here is a map of Rat Bully, and this is a newer region in terms of it being something that you may not see in every single location in the United States in terms of your retailer or your favorite restaurant. So this region was established in about 2005. There are about 2,200 hectares devoted to that, which is about 6,600 acres. Now there are two sisters who own this business. It is Jane Richards and Claire Davies. The eight at the gate refers to the number of children between them. I very much enjoy and appreciate these wines because I think it's really nice to have a producer and I don't taste a lot of Australian wines. I used to a generation, half a generation ago and suddenly there seems to be you know, an exit at least from the United States market. There wasn't a complete exit, but there was just a de-emphasis in terms of Australian wines being important to the United States. I think you know, they should be back to the United States. I think some amazing world-class producers and producers that you've never heard about, including this one, are brought to my attention as well as regions. So Rat and Bully is a region I've never tasted from before. Now in the old world, you'll find regions that are really being highlighted in the United States and some that are still lesser known. In the new world, I think it's an opportunity to taste regions that have been you know, newly created. That is uh, in the United States, it would be an American viticulture area. In other regions, it would be an Appalachian, but the, the meaning is the same. That is, you can try wines from different Appalachians and to try what each producer is doing. So each of these wines are screw cap wines, and here is a Chardonnay, and this is a 2018 vintage. And uh, so this is um, a wine that is a 12.7% ABV. So this is remarkably low, especially in our world today where you're finding, you know, 14 and a half are pretty routine. And um, so it's nice to taste them dial down. And I think it's a, a really handsome wine to enjoy with food and on its own. So I'm gonna enjoy this uh, wine with a, a variety of dishes, oysters, charcuterie and cheeses, uh, calamari, as well as uh, I would say a clam pizza would go very nicely with this. Roasted chicken is one of my go-tos that I love to make, prepare, and enjoy with Chardonnay. And I think this is a handsome, wonderful wine. One where I think a lot of people don't expect to have Chardonnay coming from Australia, but I think you should. There's some world-class Chardonnays that do come from Australia. And um, I think there's this idea that it's a Rhone-dominated uh, wine country. And instead, it's actually a very diversified wine country. Yes, you do have a lot of Shiraz, um, Merlot, as well as Cabernet Sauvignon. You have the Burgundian varieties. You have Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and Outstanding Riesling, by the way. So this wine is uh, giving an expression of Granny Smith apple, fresh, freshly sliced Granny Smith apple, commas pear, and a floral notation. Next is the palate characterization. I'm getting on this wine. Uh, green apples, Granny Smith green apple, again, the quince note is coming through, as well as freshly roasted and deshelled pine nuts and crushed seashells. This wine is 92 points out of 100 points. And next is the Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz wine. Now in my glass is a 2016 vintage. This is the eight at the gate, single vineyard, Rat and Bully. This is the Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz 2016 vintage. I'm digging that this is a 2016 vintage, so I get some age in this. I get five years in that, and I very much appreciate that because when I get some wines, I sometimes think they could go for a little longer before I open them up. I want some aging on them. And in some ways, I don't wanna do that myself. I wanna buy it that way or retrieve it that way. And so it's nice to have that. I do see that as a value and an important feature. Now this wine is 59% Cabernet Sauvignon, 41% Shiraz, 14.7% ABV. Um, so I definitely love Syrah Shiraz. I think it's an amazing variety and I think Australians produce some of the best in the world. And to me to have this combination of both the Bordeaux meets the Rome, it's a nice experience. Outstanding notation here, blackberry, black cherry, hint of purple flowers, autumnal notes of forest, as well as leaves, dried leaves on forest floor, and a bit of leather note. Next is the palette characterization. The palette definitely gives back to the note of blackberry, white pepper notes, thyme, and espresso. This wine is 92 points out of 100 points. Two dishes I'm gonna go to on this one. That is a salmon as well. Uh, maybe you still had trout actually, um, in addition to the, the salmon. And I'm also gonna do a San Francisco treat, which is a chiopino. 
I like the colors that vary here. So this nice Chardonnay in a greenish yellowish color. This is a darker violet color for the Shiraz and this is for uh, more of a reddish color for the combination of Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz. Now I'm gonna try this wine next and this is the 100% Shiraz. And I think to me, it's just an outstanding wine. And uh, that experience it in my mind's imagination, and I talked about this in regions around the world where I'm tasting wines, and I have a certain expectation of how things are gonna taste. And that's based on experience, but that's also on, on an evocation. It's how I want to experience the wine. It's what I wanna taste from the wine. So here is the bottle itself, 2016 vintage. I like that this is aged for me, so I don't have to do that. And I've talked about that to, to being a very important value for me. And it doesn't mean that every wine needs to be aged, but it's nice to have that. It's a nice value because it's held back, right? And so instead of it coming to the marketplace right away, right after release, it's nice to have it aged a bit for me. So this is something to enjoy now and later because the acidity is there and it's going to preserve this wine for quite some time. So you do not have to drink this right away. Here's a back label for you to look at here. And so on this, I wanna serve this with a variety of uh, foods. I wanna serve this with a ribeye. I wanna serve this with a pork belly. And uh, for vegetarian, I might do a baked ziti. And of course, to those vanguards of cheese and charcuterie as well. So this wine is a really nice uh, Rhone characterization. And I, I think there's just something dynamic, beautiful, even romantic about Rhone wines, and especially Shiraz Syrah. I think it really gives such a lyrical characterization, and it's a beloved wine grape. And Australians are producing, obviously, world-class Shiraz Syrah. So I love the liveliness of this wine, and so this is giving a rich characterization on the nose of rich blackberry, cassis confit, tomato leaf, freshly ground spices, and hint of leather and underbrush. Next is the palate characterization. So lovely and lively acidity to this wine. Capturing notes of red and black bramble, dark cherry notes, spice and purple flowers. This wine too is 92 points out of 100 points. Seek these wines out. I think they're fantastic. It's a nice story behind this producer and uh, these two sisters and honoring their, their eight children in total. And um, I think it's a, a region to look out for. Rat and Bully is a region that I've not visited, but love to visit at some point. And uh, I think it's a really lovely terroir for these wines uh, that are, they are producing. So thank you for watching. Questions and comments down below. Also give a like to this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you already have, merci beaucoup to you. I do appreciate that. And uh, let's stay connected. And you can also find me on a variety of social media such as Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. So between videos, you will find me on those locations. So come back to the tasting table for more reviews to come. I do appreciate your time. I appreciate your support. Share this video with somebody interested in Australian wines. So I think this is a good hallmark, a good sign to come of more Australian wines. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Sante.